everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm doing the bloom uh, recipe and I'm working with six by six inch uh, ceramic tiles. I've got my base coat down and let me show you the colors. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents and I use the White Pearl. And then I just put a dab of the champagne color in that just to darken it up a little bit. I didn't want to use just white. Let me show you how I prepare my ceramic tiles first. Um, I do tape the backs off and then I clean the top with an alcohol wipe and then wipe it off very carefully with a paper towel so it's very very clean. Let's go over the balance of my paints. I have the Folk Art Treasure Gold line, the Platinum. I have the Porage Posse, the Morning Pansy Shimmer. Again, the Porage Posse paint line, Ocean Teal Blue. That's a very pretty color. And Deco Art Metallics, I'm using the Deep Sapphire. And my last paint is the uh, Bling It Interference Blue. This is the Color Art Pigment line. And it's the Interference Blue. That'll turn out very shiny. Now, I have to give um, a shout out to Lisa at Harmony House Art. I happened across her channel, and her pouring medium is only two, uh, two things to put together. And I thought, how great is that? It's very simple. So my pouring medium today is, I'm using the Dutch Boy uh, Acrylic Enamel Base C, one part of that to one part of the Verithane Triple Thick Polyurethane. That's her recipe. Again, I want to give her credit. You mix those two together. And let me show you that mix. It's very thick very thick and after you mix that you mix this 50% with 50% your paint so the only thing that I wanted to tell you different is when you use your um, mica powders like the interference you put your mica powders in the in your little container first and then you add your pouring medium and as you can see these are thick she doesn't use anything else. If you need to thin your paints, she uses a little bit of Floetrol. So, and then that takes care of the base. She also uses that in her base, 50-50 with the paint, and then the colors. And then the uh, cell activator, I used four parts Floetrol to one part paint. And today I am using the Amsterdam Oxide Black. So as you can see, I've started to put my base down and I'm going to add a little bit more to that. And then start putting my paints down. Blooms are not one of my favorite pores to do, but I did want to give this a chance because I was excited to see that it was only um, you only needed two components for your pouring medium, which really simpl simplified things. I'm going to add some of that interference blue now. Some of my silver. That base coat does look silver, but it is that champagne color that I added. And I think I'll put a little bit more of the purple on top.
a little bit more of the interference. And now I will add the cell activator to the top. And I am going to add some more of my base coat around the edge here. And then I'll smooth that out. The only thing I needed to add a little bit of flow trawl was this base coat. Just to, uh, it was a little bit too thick, so. Okay, now I'm gonna use the world's smallest leaf blower just to uh, blow that cell activator around on my other paints. See what happens. Okay, and I'm going to let that sit for just a second or two so the lacing and the cells can come up a little more. Again, um, credit goes to Lisa of Harmony House Art, so if you get a chance, check out her channel. And I will be spinning this out here in a second. You can use uh, white for your cell activator also, and, and when I use white, I do use the Amsterdam um, white on that. So let's give it a little spin and see what, we, what happens here. Okay, I think I'm going to pick it up. And I'm just going to tip it down this way a little bit. And tip it this way. And also I'm going to tip it this way. And then I'll spin it a little bit more here. And spin it the other way. And I think I'm just going to blow the middle part out just a little bit here. And give it another spin. And I think this turned out very, very pretty. I'm going to give it a torch here. And then I'm going to bring you down for a close-up and you can tell me what you think. 
composition wise I think it would it would go that way So let me bring you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and this is the upper left-hand corner. I'm really happy with how this turned out. A lot of nice cells and lacing. Colors worked really well together. I'm gonna take you up the middle here. Very, really pretty in here. You can see the interference there. When that's dried, it will be very, very shiny. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up, share it, uh, ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, that would really help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody and thank you for watching. Bye for now.